I go do anything for you. Hey, my baby, no cry, oh. Baby, now you be my titular. Do do it. Hello everyone and welcome to this new episode of Adino Tutorial. Today we'll be using an MPU650 in order to do a 3D simulation of a drone in flight. So what we'll need is our Adino Tutorial as usual and then this is the MPU60 device. The MPU60 device is basically a digital motion processor sensor. That is, it has a gyroscope and an accelerometer integrated into it. Yeah, the gyroscope is just a sensor to detect any orientation of a device. It's mostly used in smartphones. Um, if you have ever played, let me say, Need for Speed, just by shaking the phone on one side or the ne or the other, you can see the movement of the car changing from one side to another. This is just because it is and a gyroscope is integrated into it. Also, it is also used in ba self-balancing robots, in drones, in quadcopters, and today we are going to do a 3D simulation of something like a drone that is actually flying. So I will be using this gyroscope to be able to monitor the movements of this drone uh, in three, in, uh, on a 3D simulation. So I will give an introduction to the MPU 650, also how it is used on the Arduino board in order to make this simulation so <laughs> without much talking we would talk about uh, i'll just give a brief introduction of the component itself it has a vc it has five pins basically a vcc pin that goes to a five volt the ground pin that goes to the ground um, the scl that will go to the um, analog five sda goes to analog four and these are i2c components that are used for its master and slave communication with the arduino and then there is the, an interrupt pin that goes to digital pin 2 so we we'll need an, the ad, normal arduino id and another process uh, another id called processing id in order to do the simulation it's for it to go very well so um we will now get into the cabling of the stuff after the cabling has been done, the, cab the wiring and the cabling diagram will be found in the description of the video. Now we'll plug in it to the computer in order to see how we'll do the simulation. So we'll continue from there. Okay, continue from here. There's this zip file you have to download. I'll put the download link inside the description, inside the description of the video. After download, because this library contains the um, this zip file contains library which we'll be using, and so these are the libraries found here. So you have to extract them, and after extracting them, you have to add them to the, the main Arduino library file. If you don't know where it is found, for me it is found inside libraries, documents, Arduino, and these are the libraries. So we we'll take the two files as I put it down and then you we'll put them here. Yeah. Then these are the files here and this one. Okay, after uploading the files, it will not be possible for you to enter sketch and to enter file, go to the examples and then you search for as you now appear MDU650. And you are going to find this MDU650 DNP 16 you are working with digital uh, motion processor. This is it. After you after you load it, this is it that's appearing. So all you just do is just upload the code. To see whether it works or not. After, after uploading the code, open the serial monitor, this should tell you that it is working and everything is working. But you realize something, as I open my serial monitor, I have a small error. This is just because the code, as it was written, 
because it's a mistake that people will do always. The serial monitor communicates at this. This is the speed of the serial monitor, monitor, and not the normal 9600 we have been using. So if you just come here and you change the signal, you get to the thing. Everything is working and successfully. So we have now no problem. So if I say maybe a character, to see. So it is now working. But all of this code, with all of these figures, maybe some Gabriel. We now want to use it more efficiently. So now we'll be using processing. And if you don't processing, I'll also put the link to um, install processing in the description of the video. Or else you download it and then after downloading, there's what they call the toxic library. You have to download the toxic library, which I'll also put the link inside the video. You have to download the toxic library. You also have to put it inside the library of the processing library. As for me, I've already added them to my library. These are all of them there. And after that, there's a code called the teapot code, which will also I'll also put the code inside the library. And then the code permits you to do the 3D simulation we are going to do. So after you download it, you do some small modification. I, for example, this light of 81, you have to comment it and then get to here. Yeah, the pod name and then you also uncomment it and then you write the pod name we should be using. How do you know your pod name? You can come to the Arduino ID and then this is my pod name I'm using. Arduino Uno uh, Gum Tree. So I'll go back to it and then I will now modify it now to Gum Tree. And make sure you close a serial monitor because there will be a call. If you don't close a serial monitor, there will be a conflict between. A serial monitor and a monitor that the um the processing will want to you and so and before then i should also tell you come here you comment this code then this line of code since this one is for um, was to show the, the result on the serial monitor and then you come now since you now want to have a the this thing um in on processing on a visual 3d so you come and uncomment this teapot after that you load it back into your Arduino IDE wait for it to upload as it uploads make sure as I told you make sure you close your serial monitor if else if not there will be a conflict between this Arduino ID accessing the serial monitor the country and you are processing also accessing the serial monitor after it's uploaded you come now and then you run the thing and as you are in the display is loading for it and then you just wait for it to come you may have this error message but it will still display so that is it and when it comes first of all it takes some 10 well, one, um, 10 to 12 seconds for it to uh, arrange itself very to, for the calibration to be done very well after the calibration has been done then from there you can now start this is it so now it is working as we are expecting the code is a very long and code so hard uh, i'm not sure i'll be able to explain it but if you have any problem ask for solutions inside and um, if you have any question you can ask you can put it in the comments i hope you really enjoy the video i would like to thank you for watching please subscribe and then you after subscribing click on the bell icon for reminders for new videos hope to see you next time for another nice passionate at tutorial video thank you very much